Okay, next session is AAU Selected Papers for Award session. Award category is Young Innovator Award. Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Kamran Mee from Alama Iqbal Open University, Pakistan. First of all, I would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to present my work related to H5P interactive video. I would like to start my presentation with a very popular quotation of John Davy, which says, that education is not an affair of telling and being told, but an active and constructive process, which means it is not enough just to provide the content or just to upload the content in an online scenario. So the content has to be active. There has to be an interaction between the teacher and the student or the content and the student. So the topic of my presentation is the development of H5P interactive video content in Moodle so that to improve the learners engagement in online learning. So what does the UN sustainable SDG four says? The goal number four of UN is to ensure the inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Why is it so? Because there are 617 million children which lack the minimum proficiency of reading and mathematics. There are around 750 million adults still remain illiterate. So these facts tell us that there is a need to change the mode of education so that we can provide the quality education to the masses. This picture is depicting the formal education system on the left side, which is just like a small car, which is only accommodating few who can afford that school, the online learning, which can provide a quality education to the masses. And to provide the online learning, so there are different platforms which uh, different people are using in different in different parts of the world. One of the very popular learning management system is Moodle. You might have heard about the Moodle. So why I've selected Moodle only because Moodle is one of the very popular and the most used open source learning management system. Moodle stands for modular object-oriented dynamic learning environment. Obviously, it is open source and it is free. It is a single robust and secure and integrated system, which is being financially supported by more than 80 partners. And it is highly flexible and customizable. According to the recent stats, around 184,000 institutions are using uh, Moodle, which are registered with Moodle in 246 countries, and there are around 213 million users. From these stats, it is very clear that this learning management system is very important for online education. So there is a need to investigate more about its quality, and we need to check its quality. So the study objectives are to analyze and compare the sole success factors of Moodle using Gillon and Macklin information system success model. It is one of the very popular success model through which we are going to see the success factor of Moodle. And after, based on these results, we are going to develop a developed a H5P interactive video in Moodle H5P is basically is HTML5 module of uh, the Moodle in which there are hundreds of activities which we can uh, develop. One of them is the interactive video. So the model which I have selected to check the success factor of Moodle is Delon and Maclean information system success model. It deals with these six factors. Three of the primary factors are information quality, system quality, 
and service quality. Now let us see what is H5P. H5P is an open source HTML5 based module created by a community of educators to make the online learning interactive. And it supports active learning, which is a proven and very popular method of teaching used in online learning. In this study, we will only focus on the interactive video. This activity or this specific part of H5P allows us to create very interactive videos so that the students can interact with the videos. You can ask questions, you can ask additional information or provide additional information within the video. This is the example of uh, the interactive video which was developed. This video was about an introduction of GIS, which means geographical information system. So the methodology used in this research or in this study was a mixed method. In the phase one, an online questionnaire was uh, like adapted from DeLone and McLean information success model, which was placed on the university website for two weeks. And the data was collected based on the seven parameters, which I've already discussed, six parameters. And one was uh, about general and demographic information. The other six were the information quality, system quality, service quality, intention to use, user satisfaction, and net benefits. In the second phase, the design and the development of H5P interactive video was developed and applied on the online students. So let us see the results and discussion of this study. There were around 733 respondents, which responded the questionnaire, which was based on DeLone and McLean uh, success model. And out of those 733 respondents, 495 were female and 238 were male. And if you see the role, there were around 640 students and 93 were teachers. This chart is showing the overall comparison of different success measures. So what, what it shows, the least agreement was shown in the intention to use and the highest success measure was found in system quality. So from this figure, it is very clear that the system quality is, the success of system quality is very good, but there are some issues in intention to use. If you see the information quality measure, around 66% of users agreed that Moodle provides sufficient information. Same goes for the system quality. Around 64% of users, they agreed with the statement, like the Moodle is very user-friendly. Again, if we see the service quality, it is around 63%. So this is the highlighting the quality measure, which is about intention to use, which is the least. Only 57% of users agreed that they frequently use the Moodle. So, Coming to the conclusion and the recommendation of my study, this mixed method research shows that the users are somehow satisfied with Moodle as a learning management system, whereas their less agreement is shown in intention to use, which reflects their lack of interest in the learning content, which can be improved by using the interactive video H5P content. This study also shows that H5P is very easy to develop and use, and one can easily convert existing static videos and recorded videos content into an interactive video content, which can help in boosting the interest of learners by engaging them in different on-spot questions while the video is running. Let us see a short video, how to create H5P content.
Thank you. Salamat. Shukriya. We are practicing model in the state uh, uh, university system. At the earlier period, we had some problems. Like so, then we we uh, we used uh, Zoom for meetings and then uh, uploading documents for the Moodle and then so now over days I think we were able to get used for this system still sometimes we have some problems the rural uh, area students so what do you think about the 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 uh, effectiveness uh, compared to the other uh, modes like other uh, services like yeah thank you very much uh, first of all uh, i think we should see the comparison because uh, you're talking about maybe uh, like we are using zoom or any other they are proprietary they are paid so when you are like interacting with a limited number of students so it works it is effect it is cost effective as well but uh, as we are talking about ed educating the masses so definitely the stats also shows for educating the masses, uh, we need some uh, like cost effective solutions. So one of the cost effective or free solution for the learning management system is Moodle. And uh, it is like, if you see the stats after pandemic, it has drastically increased. So more than 100,000 like um, institutions are using all over the world. So uh, again, it is free and uh, it has no comparison with uh, like Zoom, these are the video conferencing solutions. So in Moodle, uh, Moodle is a learning management system, is an overall like learning management system, just like we have Canvas or other, any other paired, paired solutions. So the focus of my presentation was like, when we are going to teach the masses, so the live interaction is not possible. Just like we are having a live interaction because we are the limited audience. But when we are going, when we talk about a large audience, for example, in our, in our case, we have more than 600,000 students in a semester. So in each course, when there are more than 30,000 students, so it is very hectic and it is very like uh, difficult uh, to interact live for all the teachers. So what is uh, the optimum solution for educating uh, the masses is recording a video. But the problem in the recording uh, recorded video is it has less interactivity. So to engage or to uh, to include the interactivity in the recorded video so this is the uh, this is the solution very good solution uh, which is provided by h5p and h5p is uh, like it's not a model uh, only uh, uh, thing it can be integrated with uh, other uh, learning management system as well if you are using any paid lms as well so i think uh, h5p module is also integratable with other learning management system so what is the benefit of uh, H5P that it can create, it can make the recorded video an interactive one. Yeah, how about the training of academics to utilize the, the mode? Like, you know, we have a lot of uh, uh, techniques to uh, use this to enhance the uh, interactions like uh, as, uh, in person sessions, but I think still in other context, we are not very well trained. And so, you know, just uh, just uh, using very simple things like so in your case, do you have any uh, the, uh, the plan training for academics, how to use uh, the techniques? Yes, that is very important. The training of um, even if, if my personal, uh, if, uh, if I talk about the personal probation after pandemic, uh, like many conventional schools also shifted to online. So what was the major problem? Uh, to, in my observation, the students were more trained than the teachers because the teachers are like uh, were not very used to with the technology. So there is an uh, when we are talking about online, so definitely there is a need uh, to train the teachers uh, on the technology things, on the latest technology things. Uh, and in our perspective, uh, we, uh, in our management, in university management, there is a roadmap as well to train the teachers and definitely uh, it is uh, a key requirement uh, in future from future perspective when we are going to online uh, we need to train the teachers uh, according to the technology thank you uh, mr kamran uh, thank you very much i have a small questions just to raise to you 
Now, do you have any idea about the cost of this application? Now, for example, I am from the Open University of Sri Lanka. So if we are going to apply this one for our programs, our students, nearly now our student population is uh, somewhere around 50,000. So we have an idea also to exceed that student's level in coming future. So what about the cost? Do you have any idea about the costing? As I already told, uh, it is Moodle and Moodle is open source. So there is no cost involved. Uh, there, uh, you can uh, only the cost is of your server requirements. If you uh, if you will purchase the server or if you already have the server hosting, so there is no software cost. It is free of cost. You can download the latest version of the Moodle and it ha it already has uh, the H5P module in it. And you can integrate the even YouTube videos just like uh, we if we have uh, existing YouTube video of, of any lecture, so we can embed that YouTube video in the Moodle H5P module, and we can add the interactivity within that YouTube video. Like after one minute, if you want to ask some question from student, or if we want uh, to get some feedback from student, so within the video, we can uh, create the interactivity and it is free. Like it is only you need to learn and uh, only you need, you need a server to host that Moodle. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, one thing I would like to add, uh, if I am allowed to add, I'm allowed to add, please. Yes, yes, please. Okay. Uh, in 2019, I visited uh, University of Philippines as well. Uh, right now, I'm wearing the T-shirt of uh, UPOU as well. So most of uh, the open universities are already using Moodle. Even uh, in that uh, st uh, visit, um, our uh, study was a comparison between uh, Lamai Gubal Open University, uh, University of Philippines and University of Tarbuka, Indonesia. So what I observed uh, with that study, so most of the Asian open universities as well, we are, are already using the Moodle, but what is the need? Uh, there's a less, there's a lack of collaboration, of real collaboration, technical collaboration, especially. So what what is uh, required by the open universities, especially uh, the AAOU forum? We really need to collaborate uh, technically as well to come up uh, uh, to be on the same page of the technology. Uh, what was the common observation uh, of that research was also that uh, we were not using the latest version of Moodle and we were not using uh, many of the functionalities of the Moodle. So Moodle is very like rich in uh, uh, functionality, but we were not uh, using those features. So there is a need. Uh, uh, of collaboration so that all the universities, especially the open universities should technically collaborate with each other so that uh, they are on the same page and uh, they are the, uh, because we are the leaders in online learning. So definitely if the formal education system and other education system uh, are transforming towards uh, the online education. So uh, I think we all open universities are the uh, role models for them. All of them. Thank you, Kamran. Uh, this is the end of Parallel Online Session 3 of AOU 2019.